Hii mzee akita Dawidi amenikuta kwa mazishi hapo juzi. Hapo Nyandarwa. Akaniambia wewe oh, wewe kwani utaki mazungumzo? Kwani unaogopa mazungumzo? Wewe oh, kubali tusungumze? Mimi nikaamka na kumwambia mimi siogopi mazungumzo ile mtu tunaogopa ni wewe. Kwa sababu pali yote umeenda umeharibu. Ulikuwa kwa moyo uharibu. Ukakuwa kwa kipake uharibu. Umechukua mtoto wetu Uhuru Kenyatta umekoroga yeye umemchanganya amepotea. Sasa tunaona ukikaribia William Ruto atapotea. Hiyo ndio shida yetu na wewe. Nilimwambia kama ameketi hapo. Nilifanya mzuri ya mabaya. Nilimujibu hapo. Nilimujibu hapo. Kwa sababu ni mzuri kuambia mtu ukweli. Sasa walikuwa wanajaribu kuja hapo kwa rais. Juzi nimetoka nimeenda ngamo nimeenda Italy. Wanajaribu kupitia huko, wanajaribu kupitia huko. Nikaitwa nikarudi haraka. Kwa sababu pale unajua kazi yangu pale ni rais sana. Mimi kazi yangu ni kuchunga rais William Ruto na mimi sina kazi nyingine. That is my work. Nikiona mtu yeyote anaweza tatiza serikali yake. Hiyo ni kazi yangu kungangana na hiyo mtu. Na huyu kitendawili historia yake ni mbaya. Ama mnataka nimkubalie? Nimkubalie akaribia rais. Sasa mimi naenda Colombia kutafuta soko ya kahawa. Alafu nipite Cuba. Lakini nimepanga. Hiyo ikulu nimeweka miteko kila kona, kila kona, kila pale, kila. Kila pahali nimeweka na niko na watu wa kunipigia simu. Wakionekana tu karibu naambiwa. Kwa sababu uwezi mtu ameharibu serikali ine umkubalie akuje ya tano. Si ataharibu? Juzi amekuja pale KICC nimemkaribisha vizuri. Simuliona? Kwa heshima kwa sababu ye ni mzee wetu amekuja tumemwalika. Sasa kuliko aende ya ket kwa kiti yake anataka kuingia marais bali wamekaa wale wamechagulia. Na hii mtu kuna mtu amemchagua. Sasa ile nyumba hata kipchumba huyu na waziri hawezi ingia. Ni marais tupu wamekaa. Marais wamejaa pale. Ati anataka kuingia pale akae na marais. Sasa tunauliza watu tunauliza huyu ni rais ya wapi? Lakini pale kwa hall tumempa kiti ya ya heshima hata alikuwa namba 4 kutoka kwangu mkaa pale kama mzee anasikiza maneno akikaa kaa usingizi ukisidi anangorota kidogo sasa kuzaenda huna shida na huyo ni mzee wetu na nilimwambia siku hiyo tunataka tumchunge tunataka tumchunge tumpagie retirement yake tutafutie askari tutafutie gari nyumba ya kukaa akitaka pikipiki moja ama bili ya kumuongoza there is no problem kama iko makosa aende nyumbani apumzike Iko sasa hiyo miaka 80 sasa imezi ina miaka na songa na mwili ni ule ule tu si ndio so nyinyi msikuwe na wasiwasi nyinyi kazi yenu ni kumuombea rais wale watu wangetaka kumtatiza hiyo kazi mniwachie mniwachie na mimi niko hapo na mimi nalala na jicho moja ingine nala ikiwaona nafunga moja usiku ile ingine nakaa kama tochi E, nikisikia maneno nakimbia hapo 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 kwa sababu hii serikali tulitafuta na shida mingi sana hatuwezi kubali mtu haribu unless watu ya kilicho mniambia tukubalie yaribiwe eh si tulitafuta na shida mingi huyu William Ruto walimtesa nimefika pale kwa nyumba alikuwa na kaa nimekuta ilikuwa na nyesha kama mchana alikuwa kila nyumba ameweka sufuria sufuria ya kutaka maji eh choo zote zimevunjika Maji imekatwa, stima imekatwa. Mtoto wa mwenyewe. Si hata yeye ni mtoto wa mama. Walimuumiza huyu rais. Mimi nilienda pale nikatoa machozi. Sikuwa najua ameumia kiazi hiyo. Sasa nikamuuliza wewe rais, mbona uliumia namna hii na kutuambia? Akaniambia sasa kama ningeambia nyinyi bali mtu amenifikisha mungenitoroka. Mungeona kama hatuwezi toboa. Sasa mimi nilikuwa nasema tuko sawa, tuko sawa lakini ni kweli nilikuwa nimeumizwa. Sasa hao watu walituumiza wakaumiza rais wetu. Ati sasa wanataka kuja kuketi kwa meza. Sasa mimi nauliza yeye anasema nataka kuketi na rais. Anapita kwa rais wa Tanzania, o muongeleshe rais tuketi. Anaenda kwa Obasajo, mwambie rais tuketi. Ni sawa. Rais akiketi na wajumbe ya UDM anafukuza hawa. Is he genuine? Is he genuine? Na ndio mimi nimemwambia huyu kijana hapa Aaron mimi nampenda sana wakiwa na ichongwa ni watu wangu 
Lakini nimewapigia simu juzi nimeuliza kama wana kazi ya kufanya. Kazi hapa kilicho imekwisha. Wakuje wafanyie wananchi kazi. This is not waste time. Huyu mtu he is not genuine about any dialogue any discussion. Because if he was genuine, why is he punishing members of parliament who has come to sit with William Ruto? Na hao wamekuja kutafuta maendeleo. Yeye akija anatafuta mambo ya familia yake. Yeye akija hakuna makosa. Hata juzi tumekuwa kwa ikulu usiku Kalonzo amefika. Alikuwa pale, amekuja na giza. Bwana hawezi kuja mchana. <laughs> Sasa niliona mko menu wanapiga picha na hiyo mtu. Sasa amekuja. Mbona hawajafukuza Kalonzo kwa azimio? Kama hawa MPs waliketi na rais wako na makosa. Kalonzo amekuja pale na amekula chakula amefungwa kitabaa hapa ya white amekula vizuri nini 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 siku hiyo ndio ya kufukuzwa kama lazima watu wafukuzwe wakiketi na rais bora huyu Kalonzo na alikuwa pale siku tulikuwa na marais ya Afrika alikuwa pale na nikaona nafurahia chakula soup nini anakaa mzuri nafurahia iko makosa gani sasa hao wajumbe wamekuja kutafutia watu maendeleo e, kuja tu mmoja wako huyo Anasema ni mpange mapema kuna bahari anaenda. Ni sawa. Ni sawa. Waja ni rafiki yangu anaitwa Mchangi. Unajua tuliangana na huyu Mchangi Am, tuliagana na yeye 18 years ago tukionana ninampatia kiri moja sasa ameniambia amengoja kutoka saa ine na kuna pahali ya nataka kuenda ameshidwa kukwajea na, na ni sawa si ni sawa idemoto waka ituko ya haria tuwado ukiumoga inya rela iku minemu wele tina kiedere ya vuno we will now take the oath of due execution of office for the Deputy President, and I'll ask that you repeat after me, please. I. I, Regadi Gashagwa. Allah. 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 Do swear. Do swear. That I will always. That I will always. Truly and diligently. Truly and diligently. Allah. <laughs> Truly and diligently. Truly and diligently. Serve the people. Serve the people. And the Republic of Kenya. And the Republic of Kenya. In the office of Deputy President. In the office of the Deputy President. Of the Republic of Kenya. Of uh, the that I would diligently Allah serve the people, discharge my duties, Allah, and perform my functions in the state office. May I request that we take it again, please. To the best of my judgment. I'm sorry, let's take it again. Let's take it again. They are threatening to go back to the streets, no problem. The streets are there, they have gone nowhere. <laughs> we are there, we have gone nowhere. Moderator, with due respect, I've had you as the president to wave some of the taxes, scrap some. At a wewe, he says, Angalia. <laughs> <laughs> Simona ni nadia naitisha ses Simia naitisha ses So hata wewe Unajua hile mikakati umeweka hatu walipe ses So even as you are asking the president na angalia Hata wewe angalia hii mambo ya ses Ime tuangaisa sana siku mingi The president is busy he has work to do We meenda umetavuta mzungu Pale na hitua Jeffrey Smith Ni mfanyi kazi yako He has a contract with you He is a consultant Unatuambia ati yako atina 
at the whistle blowing tunakuonea 18 wewe mzee wewe tunakuonea 18 unafikiri hii Kenya ni Ruto hii Kenya ni takataka inaitwa Gachetha what you are doing is what you have done all the years 2017 tumekushinda umeleta kisirani umeuzia uhuru uoga si alimuuzia sasa uhuru akanunua uoga akamuita kwa serikali kwa handshake aliharibu serikali yetu hapo haribu everything wewe raila ukiwa na uhuru mkaharibu everything mkatuachia nchi hakuna chochote i tell you i also went to a great school and why is it great it is great because professor kioni one of the most refined university administrators in this country a man who has transformed Kimathi University to a great institution in technology and science went to the same school with me so you have no doubt I'm also properly learned <laughs> you know governor when um, I was appointed uh, running with these social media characters and this media they were trying to demean me that uh, I am very backward, I am from the village, I don't know anything. Until I appeared on that debate with Mother Karua. <laughs> and uh, within 90 minutes, they knew that I and Professor Kioni <laughs> went to the great school called Kenyaga High School. <laughs> so, Musicheza Nasisi, Atasisi Tukosawa.